Welcome back. In today's domestic dish, it seems even moms are obsessed with Twilight. Americans have always looked to Hollywood for baby name ideas, and now we're seeing Twilight names everywhere. The Social Security Administration releasing its name, its list of the top baby names from last year. Two of the first place spots, names from Twilight, Isabella and Jacob. Other oh, wow. popular Hollywood influences, Tiana from Disney, Finn and Quinn from Glee, oh, Chris, uh -huh. Colin and Jasper also from Twilight, and the top names for boys. Here's the list. Okay. Jacob, Ethan, Michael, William, Alexander, Noah, they're on the list Traditional too. Traditional names. Yeah, 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 very much so. And then for girls, as I said, Isabella, Sophia, oh, yeah. Emma, Olivia, Ava, and Emily. All beautiful names. Very beautiful. It's always fun to see what happens year to year. Well, it's warm outside, so the spring and the summer fashion's coming out. One of my favorites, classy and stylish white pants. But there are some rules to wearing white that will save you some embarrassment. Listen up. First of all, some say Memorial Day is the first day you can break out the white. You know, the Memorial Day to Labor Day. But I say, and many experts say, when the temperatures reach 80 Break out the white. It's perfectly fine. Once it feels like summer, you are good to go. Secondly, make sure the fabric is thick enough to cover any lumps and bumps you might have, or you might want to wear the Spanx, because what? white shows everything. Just listen and do. <laughs> trust me, okay? Also, th this is another one you're going to laugh at, but just trust me. Wear white or nude underwear, okay? Don't wear your purple underwear under the white pants. <laughs> Not a good idea, but All it is right. time to break out the white. All right, on to another important topic today. National statistics show risky behavior in teenagers is not going up, but it turns out researchers may be aiming too high. It's because many of the big increases in drugs, alcohol, and sex is happening in our middle schoolers. We're starting a three-part series today about what's really going on with our sixth through eighth graders. And today we're talking about drugs. What have kids actually seen happening at their schools and what parents don't know about it? A big thing people think it's cool if they smoke marijuana. I think people in my school have. These students confirm what new studies are telling us. Risky behavior is on the rise in our junior high schools. The study says 25% of America's 8th graders have tried an illegal drug, specifically marijuana. What are the common drugs? Is it just weed? The number of 8th graders using pot has doubled in just two years. In a way, it's natural and okay, but it's not the same. Do you think that middle schoolers are doing any sort of drugs? I imagine that they are. Parents we spoke to said they aren't surprised there are drugs in middle schools, but turns out some of the drugs may be prescription pills coming from their own medicine cabinets. How many people would you say that you know that have ever touched Vicodin? A lot of people. Do you know what Vicodin is? Yes, it's a drug that is, uh, it's a pill that's supposed to be for pain, but people usually take it to get okay. high. Kids sometimes steal it from their parents to make a buck. Do you know why people would want to do that? Yeah, to sell it. And while many parents think they're savvy about drugs, some are stumped by the new street terms like skittles, fizzing, and yes, robo-tripping. Do you know what robo-tripping is? <gasps> robo-tripping? Is it something electronic? Oh, we have wow. two guests today to help us learn about what's going on. First, Dr. Larry Curry, a family therapist, and then Angela Borneman, residential program manager at Arapaho House. They're a substance abuse treatment nonprofit here in Denver. So, Angela, let's start with you. You deal with kids who are addicted every day. What are you seeing right now? What's different now than maybe in years past? Mm -hmm. Well, we're treating kids as early as 12 years old, for one thing. And one of the things at Arapaho House we see are some substances that are consistent in the mix. Um, marijuana is our number one substance of choice with kids, followed by alcohol and um, cocaine. One of the things that's cocaine new... Cocaine in junior high? Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> Where are they getting it? I, you would think that it would be difficult for them. Marijuana and alcohol are very accessible, and as are some of the illicit drugs as well. Um, one of the things that's new that we're seeing that we're very concerned about is the use of prescription medication. Um, and those are coming straight from the medicine cabinets, friends' medicine cabinets, and then what's happening is kids are bringing them to school and sharing them. So they have no idea 
um, what they're mixing and what the impact of mixing those drugs so might have on them. Dangerous. I think a lot of parents, well, you heard the one mom ask if it was an electronic, right? What's it called? The robo slam? <laughs> robo tripping. Robo tripping yeah. and Skittles in these terms. <laughs> yes. Are parents clueless about what's really happening and how can a parent get better tuned in? You know, I think we have to assume that parents uh, have to go, go on the defense. Bottom line is it, when we talked about doing this story, I just looked very quickly in the newspaper and a new paper uh, magazine around town that advertised marijuana. It's all about the med medical marijuana clinics, but it says that it's okay. The attitudes have changed. Parents have to step in and get involved quickly. And as we were looking at the word middle school, I kept writing elementary school all the way through, all the way through for the past 24 hours. And the bottom line is we should be addressing this in elementary school with our children, especially for homes where children have older siblings or they're around older kids. So what's the right age? When do you start talking? Because, you know, as a parent, you don't want to introduce something that they might not know about, but you need to know when to talk about it. Mm -hmm. If they can begin to talk. Then you, you should, should start talking start about having wow. general conversations with them. Dangerous about drugs or how do you introduce it? How do you bring up these topics with your kids? Well, I think just anything you see. Children are curi curious. So if they see something on the table, they're going to touch, whether it's pills, whether it's vitamins, whether it's candy or what have you, and they don't know the difference. So we have to be the ones that take that safeguard by introducing it early and saying we don't put things in our mouths. We don't think things from strangers. We don't go with strangers, and therefore we don't get involved with things that we don't know so about. So one thing you could tell parents right now who might be watching who have elementary age or junior high age kids, what should they say to their kids when they come home from school today to ask them if they know about some of this? Don't go with the first answer. You know, the old Nancy Reagan, just say no. That doesn't work alone. You have to go beyond that. If a child says no, there's probably a yes somewhere in there. So you have to pursue that conversation a little bit more. I know your friends are involved with this. Let's talk about what to do when this occurs. Mm -hmm. and advice from you, Angela? I agree. Open dialogue and then also setting the boundary that using substances isn't okay. But if you do, make sure that we have a safety plan around it so that if you're in a dangerous situation, you don't make a decision to drive, you call us. Good right. advice. Thank you guys yeah, for coming you. on the show. It's a real wake-up call for me, because in junior high, I mean, for heaven's sake, I was like taking a Coke from the vending machine, Coca-Cola, <laughs> not cocaine. It's just yeah, a real shock. Thank, Thank you both. Thank and you. the series you. continues tomorrow as we find out what our junior high and middle schoolers are thinking about some dangerous topics. Hey, up next, we got the, some...